Hello everybody, this is uh, Mike again from Daily Self-Reliance. We're just going to do a quick video today. Um, basically, it's going to be a cook kit video. You have seen a dozen of these and it's really not about a kit, cook kit so much as I'm going to experiment a little bit with a possible uh, new addition to my cook kit. So, you've seen this before. This is my current cook kit. And in this cook kit, I have my little Nesbitt stove. Now, on a recent trip to Oklahoma, I stopped by Oma's uh, Army Surplus uh, that's in Fort Worth, Texas. And I found this little item. And I was very intrigued with it. It's got two little clips that come up and lock. And then you just put whatever you're burning down inside here and set your pot on top of that and so it's lighter weight than the Nesbitt it's easier to use than the Nesbitt and so I want to test it and see which one I like best so that's what we're going to do today okay what you see in front of you this is my Nesbitt stove my glacier mug I've got my iPhone here to use as a stopwatch and this is going to be our fuel of choice today this is just a cotton ball that's coated in wax so we're going to start with the Nesbitt stove here and it's just going to be a simple boil test and I don't really expect too many or you know too wide a variety of results. I expect them both to perform equally as well but I just want to see how it works out and uh, I may end up switching to that other stove. It's kind of a nifty little stove. So let's get this cotton ball going here. Okay, we got a good flame going here. Let's see. Let's get the stopwatch going. And start. I know most of these tests are boring. But hey, when you're out there, the simpler the better. And uh, the the cook. The idea behind these two stoves is very similar. They both fold down flat. Both have a flap that folds up. <clears throat> the Nesbitt, you have to fold it out wide for a larger pot. You don't have to if you want it to balance better. This one seems to balance pretty good no matter what size pot I put on it. And You know, here, I'll put it over in the deal and you can see it. Here's with my Geo bottle on it. It sits right on it, no problems, real easy. My theory is, that, is obviously that they'll work pretty much the same, and uh, so then it'll just become a matter of uh, preference, I guess. One of the nice things about the Nesbitt is, is that I can fold up, fold it up with fuel tabs inside it. I can still lay fuel tabs inside this one, but it doesn't have really, you know, doesn't have its own built-in cover, so. All right, we've been going almost two minutes now, a minute and a half. Okay, here we are. We're uh, right at nine minutes into this thing, or actually almost ten minutes. I never quite got a rolling boil. I got a lot of bubbles, a lot of steam coming out of the cup, as you can see. Um, plenty hot enough if I was making coffee or tea or something like that, or cooking a meal. But I never got the rolling boil out of just one cotton ball. Now, I could have thrown another cotton ball in there and we'd have been just fine, but I just wanted to see where we would get with that uh, scenario. So I'm going to go ahead and break this down 
and uh, get set back up again and we're going to try this other stove and see what happens. Okay, I've got everything set up here uh, to do the next test. Got myself a new cotton ball. Let's get it fired up. These cotton balls, if you'll take them and just take your knife or whatever, dig some pieces up on them, they light real easy and the fire spreads real quick. And then they last a long time. See, this one's already going pretty good. So we're going to hit start. I'm going to set the mug on there. And I'm hoping this one's a little bit closer to the flame. It might, uh, I might get a little more out of it. I might not. It's hard to say. The Nesbitt stove did pretty good and uh, has done pretty good for me. And I don't see me getting rid of that. I just, I don't know. Maybe, uh, different scenarios or just one in each kit something like that who knows I like this little stove and I think it's got a lot of uh, a lot of versatility and they both have moving parts but this one the moving parts are easier to deal with it's just a couple of wire uh, stands that lock in place and it's done So we've been going one minute. Got a fairly decent flame going. One thing I have noticed about both of these stoves, um, unlike my folding camping stove, I can't really use a uh, buddy burner uh, in the bottom of them. Uh, just due to height, it's not entirely true with the Nesbitt because on the Nesbitt I can set the stand straight up like this and if I have a small buddy burner I can put it in there and then put a larger pot on top but obviously when you do that you know the your geo or your glacier cup are not um, you know they're not they're not they're gonna fall down in there now there are a couple of notches here I could get a couple of tent pegs and put them across there and then I'd be able to put the gear on top of there. So that's probably another video for another time, another experiment to see about making a small buddy burner. Um, I do have an alcohol burner that I've made that will fit down inside the bottom of the Nesbitt. Uh, you've seen it in one of my other videos, my video about my cook kit, I showed that little alcohol burner. Now, because it's so small, it doesn't burn very long. But I've got one that is made out of the bottom of a pop can that might fit in the bottom of this. And uh, if it does, then that'll be a new experiment that we can do. So, Okay, we're two minutes. We've got a great flame going. We've got bubbles coming up on the bottom of the cup. So I'm going to go ahead and pause the camera for a minute so I don't bore you with this. And we'll see where we get. I better get this camera turned back on. This, uh, I guess by the, the shape of this, it's concentrating the flame more on the cup. And we're right at six minutes into this, and we're getting a lot of bubbles, a lot of steam. Um, it's getting ready to go ahead and, and turn into rolling bubble, a rolling boil. So, uh, maybe not a whole lot of difference, but I do believe it is, uh, it is uh, boiling the water faster, so. I did find my little alcohol stove. I thought I'd show you. Now this is the one that's made out of the bottom of a can. And this will fit into the bottom of the Nesbitt stove and allow me to close it up and set my uh, geo or my glacier mug on top of it. So this is a little bit bigger than the one that I showed you in my last video. This one will last longer and it will boil the water quite a bit faster. Okay, we're seven minutes in. You 
can see all that steam coming from there. I think we're right on the verge of a boil here. We're going to see if it's going to make it. Looks like in the end we're going to have about the same results. That water is dancing on the bottom of that cup big time. But we never got to a rolling boil with either one of the cotton balls. We did get very close and I'd be willing to bet that if I had a thermometer I could test that water and it will have reached the proper temperature to be safe to drink if that were the case. However, we didn't make it to a rolling boil with each one but they both performed roughly the same. So it becomes a matter of preference on how you want to carry it and what you want to carry. Remember the the Nesbitt, about eight, nine bucks. This new one that I got from Oma's in Fort Worth, three dollars and fifty cents. One's aluminum, one's made out of steel. Um, I know that the alcohol stove. will fit in the bottom of that one. It will definitely fit in the bottom of this one as well. So there's a couple more options and it becomes a fancy pot, pot stand. So you make your decision. You can try them. If you live somewhere near Fort Worth or you got a good army surplus store near you, they may have this stove. Uh, if not and you want one, I guess maybe I'll be going back through there again. I might pick some of them up. So if you have any questions, Feel free to, to post on the, the site. I'll answer the questions as best I can. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you for joining me and hope you have a great day.